banana slam jam. Hello, this is BSJ, and this is gonna be a quick little itemization video. I have a lot of people in my chat, you know, somebody even asked me about my starting items. Somebody asked me about, you know, why I went the items I went as the game went on. But this can be a nice little exercise for anyone watching. So obviously we have a bit of a spoiler alert on my starting items, but uh, something you should do when you load up this video, if you are watching it, is that you should say, okay, I look at their heroes, and I look at BSJ's heroes. He has a Storm mid, a Jakiro 5, and a San King Morana offlane. What would I build as Spectre, and in what order against their heroes with the heroes that I have? So, with that in mind, I'm not saying that what I built is 100% the law, you know? But it is well thought out, and even if it is wrong, I have a very specific reason for every item I built. Uh, so, first and foremost, the laning stage. So I look at the enemy heroes, and I know it's a Shatter Demon offlane, because that's Brax. And that hero spams Shadow Poison in order to lane. So my starting items, regen with a stick. Pretty straightforward. Uh, I don't really have any issues trading with Shadow Demon or Tiny in lane. Uh, that's not really the issue. It's kind of a sustained kill lane, which we do end up getting a decent amount of kills. So why would I ever go an item like Wraith Band? I'm not trading. That doesn't make any sense. So I skip all the Wraith Bands, right? I go straight for the treads. As you see here, I go Wand Treads. After that, I asked myself in the mid-game, what's the mid-game going to look like? I need a pseudo-farm item, but also like an enabling item. So looking at their course, and all their heroes in general, I thought to myself, well, I'm really only scared of just like getting gone on and bursted and uh, eliminated from the fights immediately. And since they have this Wind Ranger hero, and it's even pretty good against like the Tinies and Shadow Demons, I went first item Blade Mill. Because I felt like I did need to participate in fights, because my Sand King had a rough lane. And also because uh, they had a very skirmish-heavy lineup and very pick-off heavy, so I didn't want to play alone too often. Uh, so that's why I felt the need to participate in fights. So the next step is talking about scalability. When you look at your... After your like initial build-up items, that's what I have right now. You know, I, have, I had my Treads Wand for the laning stage. I had my Blade Mail for the mid-game. How am I going to scale into this game? But looking at their heroes... Uh, their only hero that really had a good game was Lifestealer, uh, coming out of the laning phase. The Wind Ranger was perfectly farmed, like, fine farm, but the Lifestealer was, like, 4-0 super early. So I look at their heroes, and I say, okay, what do my heroes do? Well, I have Jakiro, Storm, Smirana, and Sand King. That's a lot of disable, a lot of catch, and a lot of magic damage. So I say, okay, all the other heroes on my team offer a lot of magic damage. Some games, it's great to feast off of that and go for more magic damage. But a lot of times, it is good to mix it up in terms of damage. But mainly, I ask myself, well, let's look at their heroes, who scales, who am I scared of in the late game, and how do I deal with those? And I look at this Lifestealer hero, and some may say, BSJ, why didn't you go for a Radiance this game? Well, I have a bajillion magic damage on my team, and I am the only hero on my team that deals with this hero, right? I'm the only hero that deals with it. So, Radiance seems kind of out of the out of the picture like all my my storm does well at dealing with wyvern all my magic burst does a great job of dealing with wind ranger so only here only hero i really have to deal with with my itemization is the life stealer at least in an aggressive sense so i go for the natural aggression slash defensive item on specter in the manta so i go straight for the manta and then i say at this point what do I need in order to deal the damage? I have my defensive item. I don't need any more. What do I need in order to deal the damage properly? So I can consider items like Scotty to lock onto targets. I can consider items like Abyssal to lock onto targets. Or I can just consider raw damage items. So in this case, I see two right-clicking cores. And I see a Shadow Demon that's going to disrupt me. So I want to be strong against right clicks, and I want to be strong against myself, right? What I mean by that is I'm getting disrupted, my illusions are going to hit me, I need to be strong against my own illusions. So what do I go for? Ding, 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 butterfly, right? It's a damage item, we have a ton of stuns, I'm good against my own illusions, it forces the Wind Ranger as well as the Life Stealer to buy an MKB, and even if they buy MKBs, it's mainly like a pseudo-defensive, but mainly an aggressive item. So it's not like the items for not. And if I have a butterfly and the Life Stealer has an MKB, I'm going to scale way better uh, than he does. So last and foremost, I say, okay, I have all this damage. Do I need anything else that allows me to do more damage? And I say, eh, there's not really too many items. I could go Scotty, uh, 
or I could go, you know, like some crazy damage item like Daedalus or MKB, but those items don't really fit uh, Spectre as a hero. So I say, okay, now that I've got all this damage, I just want to be able to threaten Lifestealer once and for all. I see this hero that the only problem I see now is that he can rage and there's no way for us to punish it. We have no magic, immunity, piercing, anything, right? So what do I go? Last item, Abyssal. So it may seem like a pretty straightforward thing when I discuss it out to you guys. And some people may be watching saying, BSA, this shit's obvious. But I do feel like a lot of times people just see an item build and they go like, wow, does BSJ think this is the ideal item build for Spectre in every game? And the answer is usually not. Once you get to the level I'm at, you do have to kind of customize your items based on how you feel during the game and what's happening. So this is a nice example of me basically verbalizing to you guys, hey, or vocalizing, excuse me, vocalizing to you guys exactly what I was thinking during this game, uh, how I wanted to transition into the later game, how I get past the early game, and why I went the items that I went. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Okay.